What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkface.net and we are inside of 3D Studio Max and we're going to be creating this box. As you can see, our box has a width inside of its uh, centermost part and also our top has a extrusion going all the way around it and it levels on each side. So let's go ahead and create this box. Let's come over here to new and choose no and new to all then let's come over here and reset everything yes and then come over here to the bottom and we want to toggle the viewport and then on our top view select it come over here and choose box from our standard primitives and then let's go ahead and create our box wow Let's get enough, let off from it, then drag it up to about right up in there, then click. Select, come over here and select the uh, uh, perspective view, and let's go into the perspective view. And then whenever you click on the box itself, you can navigate around it, and you click out of the box, you can also navigate around it as well. And so let's go ahead and with our box selected, right click, convert to editable poly. And then the first thing we want to do is select our polygon. Come over here to the top. Come down here to the bottom and click on the extrude settings button. As you can see, it extruded up to 10. So what we want to do is we want to bring this down to about 2. And then click on the check. Now we want to select our... Uh, edges on this side hold down your alt key and rotate around hold down the control key and select the top edge here come over here and choose the extrude settings we want to bring this down to about 1.5 that should be good let's take a look at it yep that looks good to me click on OK and now let's select this one and then each one of these corners out to go around control key select these out and then kind of about right up in here come over here to the extrude settings and then click OK because it's automatically going to be the same as the other one okay let's use the mouse wheel to get out of it a little bit and then Let's look at it and see how well we did. That looks good to me. So now let's get it about right up in here. Make sure that polygon is selected. And then grab a hold of just the top of it. And then let's go up underneath. Hold down your control key. And select each one of the bottom polygons. Making sure that you hold down the control key the entire time that you're selecting. You can let off from it whenever you're holding down the alt key to move around. Hold the control key again and finish selecting our polygons. Okay, and that should have them all selected. Nothing else is selected. Alright, with our top selected right here, let's go down to our edit geometry and we want to choose on detach once detach pops open type in top and click enter and now come over here and click on our editable poly over here and then choose the top and drag it up and that my friends is how we open up our box but one more thing is that we want to add some width or depth into our bottom box so let's select it come over here to our modifier list scroll all the way down and you will see shell up underneath select by channel choose shell and as soon as you choose shell it automatically gives it a depth or width of our layered box up underneath and so let's go ahead and uh, click on our top one and let's give it a different color we're gonna have a gray on a brown box that sounds good. All right, this is Wayne Barron with DarkFix.net inside of 3D Studio Max. Y'all have a rocking week. Bye bye.